Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I'm here with the start of the second round. The second round of my round robin uh, playoffs. And this particular game is going to be the um, uh, Boston Red Sox of 1965, who were 62 and 100 who advanced to the first round by beating the 1983 White Sox. So, they're here legit, and they're going to be playing the 1988 A's, who were 104 and 58. I don't remember who they knocked off to get here, but it was an inferior team. And, uh, so, uh, obviously, they do belong here. So, we're going to be using, uh, little twist on this one I'm going to use baseball cards where I have them and so you can see that pitching for the 88 A's today will be Storm Davis who has his baseball card out on the diamond and uh, unfortunately I don't have any cards for the 65 Red Sox so they're just gonna to have to be represented by the discs so we're gonna to have to go with that uh, for them but anyway they have um, so let me, I did not start the scoreboard, let me get the scoreboard started. So we have Dalton Jones, it's going to be the basically the same lineups as it was from the uh, first round, wherever possible, so, um, because those are the lineups I had determined would be, in my opinion, the best lineups. Um, except in cases where there was an injury in the first round, and then the injured person will come back automatically. That's what I'm going to say. So, And there were no injuries that would have spanned long enough a time anyway that if this were a real-life tournament, they would have been injured for the second round of the tournament anyhow. So let's get on with it. We've got Dalton Jones facing Storm Davis. And that's a 6-6, which is a single 1-17. to And that's an out. That is an out. It's a line out to third base. Dalton Jones is out. And, of course, I want to remind everybody, this is a best of five in the second round. So this series will be best of five. Somebody has to win three games. Felix Mantia is up for Boston. He gets a 4-4, which is a double. It's just a, just rips it down the line for a straight out double. And a hit allowed by Storm Davis. Carl Yastrzemski's up. He gets a 4-9, which is a walk. Storm Davis is, uh, my God, he's in a lot of trouble here. He could have been that first, that first batter could have been a, a single. And it just, he was lucky it wasn't. But they've got, um, but they've got two runners on as it is. Second hit allowed for Davis, two runners on, or uh, second base runner allowed for Davis. Two runners on and Canigliero up. And he gets a 311, which is a ground ball to the third baseman B. So runners will be at the corners with now two down. And Lee Thomas up, and he gets a 6-2, which is a fly ball center field. So Lee Thomas is out. That ends the Boston threat in the first, in the top of the first. And we go to the bottom of the second inning, and we will get Storm Davis off the mound. We'll just put out the Boston, a Boston disc to represent the Boston pitcher, who is Earl Wilson in this game. Earl Wilson in 1965 was 13 and 14 with a 397 earned run average. He pitched 231 innings and allowed 221 hits. And he'll face Luis Polonia, who gets a 39, which is a strikeout. And Dave Henderson, who gets a 1-9, which is a strikeout. So 
a pretty good, nice start for Wilson. He strikes out the first two many faces, and then that brings up Jose Canseco, and he gets a 5-6, which is a fly ball to center field. And they go one, the A's go 1-2-3. The Red Sox put up a much better fight in the first inning, and Storm Davis will go back out to the mound. And uh, Rico Petroselli is up for them. He gets a 6-8, which is a double one to nine or a single. That's going to be a single. So Rico Petroselli ripping a hit, which is quite common. This game, that's the third hit given up by Davis here in the second. Lenny Green's up, and he gets a 4-5, which is a... Ground ball, second base C. That's one way, but that moves Petroselli to second. One down, one at second, and Frank Malzone up. You remember Frank Malzone, and he gets a 5-2, which is a ground ball C to first base. So that moves um, Petroselli over to third. Of course, all this moving people over is costing outs, and so now we're down to the point where we've got two outs and a man at third with Bob Tillman up, and he gets a 4-6, which is a walk. So Tillman gets aboard with the second walk that's issued by Storm Davis here. And that brings up Dalton Jones, and he gets a 1-7, which is a double one to six or a single double asterisk. And that's going to be a single double asterisk. Dalton Jones getting cheated out of a hit the first time, but not this time where it was an automatic hit. But he didn't get the double that he probably would have wanted. But he did drive in a run. And Davis gives up his fourth hit and first earned run. And then that brings up Felix Mantilla. And he gets a 3-5, which is a ground ball to the shortstop X, or shortstop uh, A, which is would have been a double play if there had been less than two outs, but there aren't. So they are out of the inning, but Boston does strike for a run. And so we'll make the applicable changes. Bring in the discs for Boston. Put, put a Boston disc out there to pitch to represent Mr. Earl Wilson and Mark McGuire up at the plate. Bottom of the second, and that's a 5-8, which is a fly ball right, and he's out. He's just sending the A's down. He's, they come up, he sends them down. Carney Lansford up, 6-6, six, six, which is a strikeout. That's his third strikeout. We're only two-thirds of the way through the bottom of the second. And Terry Steinbach is up, and he gets a 1-4, which is a pop-out to second. So Earl Wilson... Continues pitching perfect baseball through two innings. As we go to the top of the third. Now I want to say that in the third round, since it is the best of five in the third round, it's going to be a lot tougher for, the I think, for the bad teams to advance to the, uh, to the next round. Karol Yastrzemski's up. He gets a 2-2, which is a foul out to the catcher. Tony Canigliero gets a 2-8, which is a ground ball to the third baseman, and that's two away. And Lee Thomas is up, and he gets a 1-8, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. So Storm Davis has his first, um, his first clean inning right there. And he will come back to the dugout. Earl Wilson, who is pitching a perfect game so far, goes back out to the mound, facing Walt Weiss. And that is a 3-8, which is a strikeout, one away. Man, I wanted to use my baseball, my A's baseball cards of the guys that I do have, but none of them are getting on. Stan Javier gets a 1-6, which is a pop-out to first away and that brings up 
Glenn Mother Hubbard, and he gets a six, a three six, which is a single. That's the first hit by any Oakland A player, and I do happen to have him too. So we'll put Glenn Hubbard out there. Of course, that's Glenn Hubbard when he played for the Atlanta Braves, but it is a Glenn Hubbard card, so we'll take it. And he is at first base. And that's Luis Polonia's up. Luis Polonia has got a 1-9, which is a double 1-9 or a single. And now all of a sudden Earl Wilson's falling apart. And that is going to be a double. So Glenn Hubbard is going to advance to uh, third. And uh, Polonia... Has himself a double and it is a double two asterisk which I think means he has to stop at third Hubbard does but even if Hubbard didn't have to stop at third I wouldn't send him an extra base because it's Glenn Hubbard so now we got Dave Dave Henderson up and he gets a wait a minute was that how many yeah that was two hits he gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a strikeout. So Dave Henderson goes down. And that's five strikeouts for Earl Wilson. And uh, no runs. They came close. The A's came close there, but they did not get any runs. So we will collect Hubbard back up. We will collect their discs and now we go to the top of the fourth and Rico Petroselli is up and he gets a 2-8 which is a strikeout and that brings up Lenny Green he gets a 1-8 which is a ground ball first base that's two down and Frank Malzone comes up and he gets a 6-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. And the second baseman is going to be not very good. Well, it's Glenn Hubbard, but he's a three. And that is a two. So two and three, that's a single. So Malzone gets himself a base hit. And up steps Tillman, and he gets a 210, which is a line out to second base. We go to the bottom of the fourth with Jose Canseco up for the um, Jose Canseco is up for the A's, and he got the 310, which is a single. So we do have a Jose Canseco card, so we'll put that at first base. Third hit allowed by Earl Wilson. McGuire's up. He gets a 5-6, which is a fly ball to center. One away. Carney Lansford's up. He gets a 1-9, which is a triple one or a single double asterisk. And that's going to be a single double asterisk. And that moves Canseco to second, or to third. And puts Carney Lansford, who I do also have a card of, on first base. Fourth hit allowed by Wilson. Runners are at the corners for the A's with one out. And that brings up Terry Steinbach. He gets a 4-4, which is a ground ball C. And that does score Canseco and move Carney Lansford to second. They didn't bring the infield in. It's too early in the game to be thinking about that. And I'm not a big fan of doing that anyway. Um, so Steinbach with an RBI. And the game is tied. And up steps. Um, Walt Weiss, and he gets a 3-4, which is a single, 
and they could send, um, do I have a Walt Weiss? I don't think I have a Walt Weiss. I don't. They could send Carney Lansford. Let's see. Three, four. Yeah, they can send Carney Lansford, and they're going to, probably, because Carney Lansford is a good runner. 1 to 16. He's 1 to 16 running. And that's a 17. He's probably gunned out. Let's see what the arm of the uh, center fielder is. And the center fielder is, um, a, is green, and he was a 2. That's Lenny Green, center field two, and he had a plus two arm, so he does score. Oh, my God. All right, well, you know, <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do about that, but he does score. I Unbelievable. So, that is an RBI also for Weiss. Or, wait a minute, who, who got that? Yeah, Weiss. He gets the RBI, fifth hit allowed by Wilson, second run, and uh, Stan Javier, top of the order, is back up, and that's a 6-6, six, six, which is a strikeout. And Dalton Jones is up facing Storm Davis, who hasn't pitched all that well. And he gets a 6-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. Second baseman is a 3, we've established, and that's a 7. Probably going to be an out, and it is. So Dalton Jones is out. That brings up Felix Mantia. He gets a 5-8. And 5-8 is a fly ball to right. Oh, wait a minute. 5'8". No, 5'8 is a home run 1-4 to four or a fly ball. But it is a fly ball. Fly ball right field. So Mantia's out. Looking at the wrong pitcher there. And then Carly Estremski's up and he gets a 110, which is a single. So Yaz ripping a hit. That's the first hit of this game. And series for Yastrzemski. Sixth hit allowed for Storm Davis and Canigliero's up and he gets a 6-7. Which is a ground ball to the second baseman. He's a 3. That's Hubbard. That is a 17. 17 and 3 is a roll another. And that's a 7 which is an out as we had just previously established. So, no runs for Boston in the top of the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth. And we send out the pitching disc for the uh, representing Earl Wilson, who is pitching well. Pitching quite well. And Glenn, Glenn Hubbard will come up to face him in the bottom of the fifth. He gets a 5-4. Which is a ground ball to the third baseman. That's Malzone, I believe, and he's a three. That's an 18. 18 and three is a one base error for Malzone. So, Glenn Mother Hubbard is back aboard. So, we, we don't need the A's disc. We got the A's Hubbard or the Atlanta Braves version of the Hubbard card. So, um,. Hubbard is on by a one base error by Melzone, which is the first error for Boston here. And they're already losing 2-1. to one. Luis Polonia comes up. He gets a 4-9, which is a single. So Polonia gets a single, moves Hubbard to second. Don't, again, I don't have a... Uh, I don't have a Polonia card, so we'll use an A's disc. And then Dave Henderson's up. He gets a 4-7, which is a uh, single one two. And it isn't. It's a line out to second, so that's one away. The A's have one out and runners at 
uh, first and second. Jose Canseco up. He gets a 5'11", which is a ground ball to the first baseman. The first baseman is a 3. That's Lee Thomas. That's a 14, and that's a one base error. So Lee Thomas makes an error, and now the A's are all over the bases. Canseco on by an error by Lee Thomas. And in fact, we will replace that disc with the uh, Jose Canseco disc, or with the Jose Canseco card, because we do have that. So there's one out. The bases are loaded. Mark McGuire's up. They're going to play the infield back because Mark McGuire is a, a staunch strikeout slash double play candidate. And he gets a 4-6, but that's a walk. Of course, um, that would... Uh, send a runner to third and score. Hubbard moves Conseco to second and McGuire is now on first and that's the first McGuire card appearance. McGuire walks and he got an RBI from that and an earned run and a walk. First walk issued by Wilson and it comes at a very bad time. Carney Lansford up. They're going to, uh, they're going to play the infield in. They've got to now, and that's a five nine, which is a strikeout. So luckily, it's a strikeout for them, and uh, Lansford strikes out. And Steinbach is up infield back, of course, and that's a four three, which is a ground ball C. So Steinbach gets out. The A's do score a run, though, and they take a 3-1 to lead here in the uh, uh, going into the top of the sixth. We will put Storm Davis is still out there. Storm Davis is still out there throwing. I mean, he's pitched relatively well. He was a little shaky early, but he settled down lately. And that brings up Lee Thomas, who had who had a key error last game. So that's a 2-7, which is a walk. So Lee Thomas gets a board. Rico Petroselli gets a 5-7. That is a strikeout, one away. Brings up Lenny Green. Lenny Green gets a 5-5, which is a strikeout, two away. Third strikeout for Storm Davis. And that brings up Melzone. And Melzone gets a 3-8 ground ball to the shortstop. And he is out. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Bottom of the sixth. The A's are winning 3-1. Earl Wilson is also still out there. Not probably a lot of great options in that uh, Boston bullpen, you would have to think. Walt Weiss up, 5-7, is a double one to four or a single. And he does get a single. So Walt Weiss with two hits here, pretty impressive for him. Seventh hit allowed by Wilson. Stan Javier up. He gets a 4-6, which is a walk. And now Wilson might need some help. Javier walks. And there is going to be action in the bullpen for the... Um, for Boston. They will get Jay Ritchie. 
up in the bullpen, the Red Sox will. As Boston, or as the A's have two on with no outs. And, um, yeah, and Glenn Hubbard up, and he gets a 5-4, which is a ground ball to third. Melzone is a 3. That's a 10. 10 and 3 is an out double play. So, looks like he's calmed this, this, uh, um, this, uh, three alarm fire down a little bit. Um, Javier hits into a double play. And uh, now there's a runner at third with two down and Glenn Hubbard up. And he gets a 5-9, which is a strikeout. No runs come in for the A's, although they did threaten. And now we go to the top of the seventh. Um, Storm Davis is still out there. Got to believe that he's still going to be out there for a little while. Um, Bob Tillman is up top of the seventh. And that's a 110, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. So Tillman's out. Dalton Jones is up. He gets a 6-4, which is a double one or a single. That's going to be a single. Or no, wrong disc. Wrong team. Dalton Jones with a single. 7th hit allowed by Davis. Mantia up. He gets a 2-9, which is a fly ball to center. Two away. And that brings up Carl Yaz, Yastrzemski. 5-7 is a strikeout. So Yaz strikes out. And uh, that will be that with the uh, A's getting, or with Boston getting no runs there. They're still losing 3-1 to one going to the bottom of the 8th. And... The um, Boston Red Sox are going to bring in Jay Ritchie to pitch. Um, Wilson goes um, six. Yeah, Wilson goes six. And Richie's on in the seventh to face Polonia. Uh, Jay Ritchie in 1965 pitched 71 innings, had two saves, was one and two with a 317 earned run average, and he'll face Polonia, who gets a fly ball to right. One out. Dave Henderson gets a 1 7, which is a ground ball short. That's two away. And Jose Canseco gets a 1-9, which is a walk. And we do, of course, have the Canseco card. So, Canseco is at first. Canseco with a walk. And Mark McGuire up, and he gets a 4-8. And that's a single. And we have a McGuire card, so... Two runners on with one out, with two outs. I believe there's two outs, isn't there? Yes, there is two outs. First hit allowed, second base runner for Richie. And Carney Lansford up, and he gets a 111, which is a pop out to third, and that is the final out. I believe, anyway. But that's the final out. Yeah. And we go to the top of the eighth inning. And what we're going to have now is we're going to see um, Dennis Eckersley come on for the A's. 
to nail this one down. So we put Dennis Eckersley out there on the mound. And let's go get the Dennis Eckersley pitching card. And here it is. So we put that in. Dennis Eckersley in 1988 was 4 and 2 with a 235 earned run average in 73 innings. He allowed 53 hits. And that's the uh, pitching that the um, that the Red Sox have to try to get through, break through on, with only two innings left to do it. Canigliaro is up. He gets a 3-4, which is a ground ball to the short. Lee Thomas gets a 6-5, which is a strikeout. And, uh, yeah, I didn't even write him in. The Eck. I'm just going to write the Eck. He strikes out his first guy. Of course, Davis goes seven complete, right? Yes. And Petroselli's up, and that's a 6-7, which is a strikeout. So, no runs in the eighth for Boston. We go to the bottom of the eighth. And the Boston Disc is out there representing Jay Ritchie, who's on for his second inning of work. Terry Steinbach up. 2-9 is a strikeout. One out. Walt Weiss gets a 3-5, which is a single. And we don't have a Walt Weiss card. He's 3-4 for four today. That brings up Stan Javier, who gets a 2-10, which is a ground ball shortstop A, and that is a double play, and ends the inning with no runs coming across for the A's. Not really one of the big scoring outbursts that you would have ex expected from the 88 A's. They only have three runs, but they have Eckersley on the mound, and Boston only has this opportunity right here in the ninth to try to break through on Eckersley and get two runs to at least tie the game. Lenny Green up, and he gets a 3-8, which is a single. So maybe they can start that. I mean, if Lenny Green can get a hit, you know. I don't want to say anybody can, but pretty much. Frank Malzone up. He gets a 4-8, which is a strikeout. One away. Got to stay away from Eckersley's, Eckersley's card, that's for sure. Or at least you'd probably want to. Bob Tillman gets a 6-3, which is a fly ball to left. The left fielder, unfortunately, is Stan Javier, and he's a 1. And that's a 15, so that'll be an out. Tillman out. And up steps Dalton Jones, and he gets a 3-6, which is a walk. So they, they're not dead yet. They're not quite dead and gone yet in Game 1. That was Dalton Jones with the walk. Eckersley issuing the walk, and that's only the second base runner. Eckersley's allowed. Felix Mantilla up, and he gets the 3-6, which is a ground ball to the shortstop A, and that does end game one with the final score being the Boston Red Sox 1, the Oakland A's 3.